one of the things I say a lot is we sometimes like to make cybersecurity a lot more complicated than it needs to be. We, we, we often make things way too difficult and way too complex. And what I'm referring to is in this video, let's talk about server-based attacks. If you go back over the last three years and you look at almost all of the server-based attacks in which critical data and critical information has either been taken, held ransom, or modified, it always comes down to four main things. You add a server accessible from the internet that was missing patches. The server contained critical information. Sorry, I combined the first two. So the server's accessible from the internet is one. It's missing patches, which is two, right? It contains critical data, which is three. And the encryption keys are stored with the data. Almost guarantee, if you go back and look, those four things are always present. Now, in a perfect world, we fix all four. But if we really just fixed one of those, if the servers weren't accessible from the internet, the attacker would not have been able to get to it. If the server was fully patched <clears throat> and up to date, they would not have found a vulnerability. If the server did not contain critical data, even if they broke in, they wouldn't have anything to steal. And if the data was properly encrypted and the keys were stored on a separate server, they would have only got encrypted data and they would not have been able to steal the information. So if we really want to lock down server-based security, you can go and buy complex, advanced technology. I'm not saying you shouldn't do that. You can have robust architectures. But let's focus on the foundation. Are your servers that contain critical data not accessible from the internet, are they fully patched? And are you encrypting data with different keys and storing your keys on separate servers? You focus in on those four areas, and all of a sudden, not only will your server-based attacks decrease tremendously, but all of a sudden you have a good chance of winning at this game we call cybersecurity.